Hey, what is going on guys? This is Clutch once again and welcome back to another episode on my road to Division 1. The first team we come up against today is the Serie A team. It uh, looks pretty strong because he's got Yayich and Serchi in there and they do the business for me so I expect him to do some damage against myself. Uh, Mertens, I've heard, is pretty good as well. I've got him. I've actually got him on my bench. I haven't used him yet. Maybe I'll throw him in, a, in for a game or two but when I've got El Shirari playing, uh, it's kind of hard for him to get in the team but... The man himself, Mertens, manages to get my opponent's first goal against me in the 90th minute. So I was down and I was fairly frustrated this game from what had happened pre previously because I'd won the game and I didn't get my three points. wasn't too fussed about the coins. I was just concerned about the fact that I didn't get my three points for my win. So I was kind of frustrated because it felt like 15 minutes wasted because I got no coins and no three points. So it was just like, what the hell did I even play the game for? But um, even though I was frustrated and kind of it kind of put me off my game it's not really an excuse to what happened in this game um i don't know i just didn't really have much luck in this game um tried to get things going tried to score my free well my first free kick with hernandez there i've hit the post and crossbar with him so many times it's unreal it's so frustrating i'm usually good at free kicks but so far none have gone in for me with hernandez um and set pieces as as a whole i've been fairly decent with like from uh, free indirect free kicks like that, I usually score them, but was didn't manage to get a goal there. Um, got my header on target, but didn't manage to beat the keeper. Um, also, getting more shots on target with Sergi, I thought he would have scored there, but he didn't, and unfortunately, we lost the game one nil. So I was kind of frustrated that I just won. Well, as you can see from the stats right there, I think I dominated the game. I, de I deserved a bit more from that than a loss, at least a draw. But um, we didn't manage to come out of that, but once again EA cheese um, another 15 minutes wasted of my life um, but I'm, I'm kind of relieved because I didn't get lost um, so I think that kind of balances thing out things out I didn't get the loss for that the same way I didn't get the win from my previous game so moving on to the next day after after um, two games in a row of no coins and no results I decided to get off FIFA for the day and and the next day we started off against this decent team with Lukaku up front I just I thought um, I thought it would be trouble and my opponent did start to trouble me at the start he he seemed like a fairly solid player so I was kind of nervous going into this game and um, because he, he was passing around just like me and like playing the ball around nicely and getting some good opportunities but El Shirari manages to pick up the first goal in our favor in the 17th minute and we're 1-0 up and I'm always going to look to capitalize and improve on that but as I was saying, our opponent did manage to make space for himself quite nicely at times and he was fairly unlucky to miss that with Lukaku right there. But I'm not going to complain, I'm just going to go and try and punish him. And we do exactly that in the 36th minute when we get the ball to Guarin who manages to pull that in the bottom corner with a decent little finesse there. So we are 2-0 up and I was actually surprised because my, my opponent started to crumble at this point. Um, I thought he would have put up a lot a lot more of a fight but El Shorari scores a weird overhead kick with his weaker foot right there I was actually in the hub call at the point at that point and I I freaked out I was like what the hell I didn't expect that to go in and I didn't expect him to pull off an, a weak foot over the head kick but um carrying on we bag another goal with El Shorari in the 56th minute so this game is basically over we fought with one another game um, and in the 55th minute my opponent sees the same and he decides to leave the game so we get another win El Shirai with a nice 9.0 rating um, and another 4-0 win so from the stats I actually was surprised at how much I dominated him because my opponent he did seem like a really solid player at the start and I thought it was a lot more even than that but I guess not as we saw from the stats and we actually get points today woohoo finally no more EHEs um, finally the um, results were registering but we come up against the next team in today's episode which, which did look fairly uh, it looked like a threat because I played against Drogba and the last well I played against Drogba twice and one game he scored like a 45 yard goal against me and I'm gonna leave that link in the description and um, it's an unlisted video from my friend because I was playing a friendly but um Yayich manages to get us in the lead nice and early so I was happy with that because the threat of Boney and Drogba up front kind of did intimidate me and I thought that those two would destroy me to be honest so I was I was kind of nervous but 
after after scoring the first goal with Jajic and then managing to get another goal pretty quickly after with El Sharari, cuts in nicely with that quick step over. Um, that, that move is so overpowered. Um, and you can see my favourite celebration with El Sharari. I don't even know why, but the Movember is top class with El Sharari. I think it's just his hair and the celebration in general. But um, being 2 0 up kind of put me at ease, and Jajic manages to. I don't know how he didn't. How he didn't finish that, but he split the defense with ease right there with that little ball roll and scoop turn. That is another OP move. I, I, there's certain certain things, certain combos that are just so easy to get past defenses. Um, and we managed to pick up another goal with Yaich, as we have said a million times in this series. Um, but uh, he he got that from the from a rebound. Um, this game actually, I, even though I was intimidated at first, it was kind of a walkover, as you'll see by the final score in a bit. Um, Serchi manages to get a header, one of the few headers that I've scored in this series. I don't really cross that much. Um, I only cross in situations where I know that I'll get, well, well, there's nothing else on. Um, and I don't really score that many header goals. I, I'm terrible at headers, so I was surprised that went in. Um, but yeah, we were looking to push on and get some more goals. Serchi bags another one. Manages to keep managed to keep composed with Hernandez there, um, rather than rushing a shot. I just passed the, passed it back to Serchi, who had a better angle to shoot, and he took it away. Um, but our opponent was kind of unlucky here, messed messed up his skill. And then I don't know what he was doing with David Luiz, but once again, the little step over and then cut inside and then finesse with Yajic, who bags another goal for us. I think that's six nil, and then we get our final goal in a second with the man himself actually no it was a known goal i was i thought the ih was going to head that in but it was a known goal by tiago silva in the 87th minute and that actually wrapped up the game and we won that seven no so a fairly comprehensive victory to end today's episode uh, i hope you guys are enjoying this if you did then don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe if you're new um, I'm I'm aiming to put these out every other day, so the next episode will be not tomorrow, but the day after. So look out for that. But till next time, guys, it has been Clutch. Peace.